you're better off checking those free resources first, trying to find viable suppliers that method, and after that, maybe you can go ahead and spend money on these directories. The reason that I say that is because in that video, I shared with you a resource called Inventory Source. Inventory Source is an automation software. They basically connect you with all of the wholesalers that they integrate with. They allow you to upload those suppliers' feeds, and they also do order management. I used to use this software over three years ago, and we'll get into why I stopped using it, but the great thing about this software is that the only thing that they charge you for is using their services for automating the suppliers and connecting the suppliers to the marketplace. They don't charge you to see the directory and to see the suppliers. That is 100% free. Now, to get into the free resources for where you can find these wholesale suppliers. By the way, I made a Google Doc and it's going to list out all of the different suppliers. It's going to have links to the supplier websites and where you can actually find these suppliers. And the link to this Google Doc and where you can view it is down in the description. So the first software, as you've already guessed, that we're gonna be talking about is going to be Inventory Source. As I already mentioned, Inventory Source is an automation software and they basically work with over 250 different suppliers to connect those suppliers with your marketplaces like eBay or Amazon. So inside the Google Doc that I've shared, you'll see a link to where you can see over 230 suppliers that Inventory Source actually connects with. By clicking the link inside of the doc, it's going to bring you up to Inventory Source's site and all you need to do is you just need to create a free account and then you're going to be able to see the directory. So once you get to this page, the way that you can access the supplier directory is on the left hand side, you're going to click supplier directory and it's going to then bring you up to the place where you can see the entire list of suppliers. So once you get to the supplier directory page, Inventory Source has a great built-in search feature where you can narrow down and refine the suppliers that you wanna see. To search by suppliers, you have a couple of different options. You can select whether or not they have a catalog. To me, I usually leave it on it doesn't matter. Automation available, since I don't use Inventory Source, again, it doesn't matter. Location, I like that they're going to be in the United States. For ships too, I usually like to select the USA. I do ship a couple of international orders orders, but most of my business is done within the US. For data feed quality, this is a pretty important one and you can select what parameters you want for when you're searching through suppliers. So I like to make sure that my supplier is going to have images. I also like to make sure that typically I like to see brands and manufacturers. You can also select a couple of other different things, but to me, these are the two most important for my search results. The last thing to note is that you can also save suppliers, you can favorite suppliers to come back later, as well as you can also search by different categories if you're looking for a supplier within a specific market. So let's take a look at what type of suppliers came up in our search results. Now the first one is going to be US Direct. Inventory Source actually owns US Direct, that's why you're going to see it at the top of the results, as well as they are a dropship aggregator. Now I'm not going to say that you can't use dropship aggregators. I used to use Petra as well as I use DNH Distributing. So using dropship aggregators can be a good way to get brands that you would otherwise have a hard time to get access to. It's just important to know that if you're working with an aggregator, typically those prices are going to be marked up. So after US Direct, we were recommended Doba, and then you have Honest Green, you have DNH Distributing. So this was the first supplier that I actually used when I started working with Inventory Source, as well as I use them to get ungated for a couple of different categories on Amazon. So other than the aggregators, you also have a couple of different suppliers. You have CWR, which is a really big marine distribution company. They carry a lot of different brands inside the marine and electronic niche. And you have a lot of different brands and you also have a lot of different ways of contacting these companies. So that's another really good feature about Inventory Source. So the way that that feature works is you can actually click on the name and Inventory Source will give you a profile page similar to how SaleWho and Worldwide Brand will do when you're using their features to search for suppliers. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to click how to become a reseller. And that's going to give you a little bit of detailed information on the steps to becoming a reseller, as well as the important contact points that maybe you need to actually message. So for example, the email or the phone number that you need to call. So the information quality is going to differ on the supplier, but usually they'll give you the sign up link for where you can go ahead and you can actually apply and see the contract and see the application, as well as they will give you their website. They'll also give you the contact point and they'll also give you their drop shipping policies. So this way you can easily see the return policy, see the shipping policy, as well as you can see any other policies that are either gonna be red flags or are going to indicate that this is going to be a viable supplier. Another cool feature is that you can actually see what type of product this supplier sells. So that's inventory source and you can access all of those 230 suppliers for free. And the great thing is, is that we know that those suppliers dropship since they integrate with inventory source, which is a dropship automation.